Hello and welcome. My name is John Manschult and I am here not only for this video but for the entire video series on getting you prepared for the CompTIA A Plus certification. I look forward to working with you and guiding you into the things that you need to know and understand for these two exams. It's not to say I'm going to be able to cover everything. There are quite a few figures and lots of statistics and numbers that in the case of trying to make the presentation interesting and to keep it flowing, I'm going to have to rely on you to also help me help you by looking some of these terms up either whatever reference book that you're using or researching things on the internet to have a better understanding and like I said before some of the numbers that will allow you to have a better understanding to prepare or to prepare for the certification test. Before we get started I just want to show you the website where you can get all of the official information on the a certification. If you go to comptia.org, and what I have already done is gone to the website and actually went into the certifications and pulled out the A Plus webpage. The A Plus or the CompTIA A Plus certification program has been around for a long time. It was the first certification that I've ever achieved, and a lot of times even CompTIA will recognize that for a lot of people, this is the first certification that they receive. So there are several things that you can pull out about this certification that might be beneficial for you or to give you a little bit of a background. But the thing I think you're most interested in is the pre preparation for the two exams. So as you can see, we have the CompTIA A+, 220801 and the 220802. Basically, the 801 is the hardware, the 802 is the software. What we're going to do is to take all of that material and compress it into 15 modules. My job is to put you and keep you on track on things that are important, not only for the certification, but also will hopefully allow you to benefit in the real world and the actual implementation of these concepts and these procedures that we are going to go over. So, I hope you're as excited as I am this is certainly a great way to start your certification and I think it's going to be very beneficial to you from many different standpoints in getting that foundation of knowledge and credential to allow you to just not only start your career but to continue your career and your learning as you continue in the field. So sit down, relax, and I hope you look forward to working with me for these next few modules.